Okay, you power it up. And now I'm going to hit the delete key. <laughs> well, <laughs> Look at there that. we are. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, through this great jankiness, we have a working serial connection. So this is a Moss Kim One computer, Georgia Tech property, with a ceramic 6502 with a 1976 date code. And it came with a bunch of stuff already hooked to it. So my son made this little adapter so it could plug a barrel jack into the power supply. Yeah, we'll, we'll wrap that at some point. And it looks like it works. <laughs> it just, it just worked. So press the AD key. All right. Press 0002. All right. Press DA. One eight. Uh, one eight. Plus. Okay, I'll stop the video here and we'll come back after entering this program. Okay, and so this is the program. Start looks like it's a routine that displays numbers to the LED display, and it's gonna display the numbers at FA and FB, and it adds these two numbers at zero, zero, and zero, one. Okay, so apparently we need to make sure that binary arithmetic mode is selected. So press AD, zero, zero, F1, and now type DA, zero, zero, and then AD, and then zero, 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 zero. Okay, and now DA to enter data. And now it looks like we're going to add the numbers two, so type zero, two, plus to go to the next memory location, zero, three, plus, and then go, which I guess will go from our current address. Oh, zero, 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 five, yep, there we go. Zero, 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 five, so we correctly added the numbers two and three. I think this thing works. And apparently we need this SST switch to the left to do all the stuff we just did. Okay, we have a couple of RCA jacks labeled two line output and two line input. This is probably for cassette storage, but let's double check that. Okay, I'm just gonna guess that the black wires go to some kind of ground. And yeah, if it look here, it looks like a whole bunch of black wires go together that all go to that ground. So that's all connected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's audio output. And I'm going to guess 11, 12, 13 will be the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that goes to one of them. 11, 12, 13. And this is, goes to the other one. Yeah, so that's audio in and out. Okay, and I have a pet peeve. This is a 44 pin connector with 22 pins on each side. And on the number side, it's sensibly enabled one to 22, but on the other side, it's labeled A, a through Z. C, <laughs> D, E, F, H. There's 22 pins, but 26 letters. So they skip some letters. So they skip G and I and O and Q. So I guess maybe they skip O and Q because they resemble a zero, but I don't think it's going to be ambiguous because there's no pin zero. And why not use G? And I guess you could say I might get mistaken for a one, but... It's got the little serifs on it. Yeah, but I think you're much more likely to forget that they do this and start counting A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H and get confused that way. So I, I find this to be a very annoying indicator scheme. Okay, and we have this fellow here. So maybe this is some kind of serial connection. Let's find out. Okay, so we have these four wires here that look like they connect over here. Okay, so we spent some time with the continuity checker looking into that connector. TRSU correspond to these things here, these are teletype connections for keyboard and printer. And there's keyboard and printer and keyboard and printer return with a little plus sign. And an interesting thing about these guys here is there's a connection of a 75 ohm resistor to five volts for these return lines. And you can see those resistors right there. So these are metal film resistors. 
and we measured those as being 75 ohms. And apparently they're in this general class of RN60D resistors, because that's what they say. Okay, so we can't hook this right up to our standard TTL to USB adapter like we did with the SIM1. The Chem1 has a 20 milliamp loop kind of serial connection. Ah, notice this is 150 ohm on the schematic. When we tried to measure these, we read 75 ohm. So I'm wondering if internally these are hooked in parallel over here somewhere so that we are reading 150 ohms with 150 ohms in parallel. Okay, I just figured out what the switch does. I have no idea why it's called this, but if you hook 21 to V, this KB column A to KB row 3, that's actually what selects whether you're using the TTL connection or the internal keyboard and display. And it turns out these resistors do sort of connect to a common point here. Both of these return path connections go through these resistors, which I'm guessing are probably tiny to connect to the same point. So we're effectively reading those in parallel. Okay, here's a RS-232 conversion circuit associated with the Kim one hints. And let's see, this is a minus five. So this looks like it's kind of faking an RS-232 signal that's usually plus 12, minus 12. But here you're using five volts and minus five volts. So this is probably set up so that digital one is actually the negative voltage, but it's saying ground may work as well. So let's try that first. Okay, so my son took this converter circuit from the Kim One Hints booklet and built it on the breadboard. Yes, this is the world's most janky test setup. Here goes nothing. Okay, so that's with the display. Is anything on fire? Nothing's on fire. No, okay. So anything bad? Okay, unplug it. And now what we need to do is we need to flip this switch. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hit return, Wait. start the connection. Now you plug it in. Here goes nothing. Okay, you power it up. And now I'm going to hit the delete key. <laughs> well, <laughs> Look at there that. we are. Ah, uh, yes. Hot dog. The Kim one is talking to the computer. Wait, 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 Dad, show, show the connection again. Show, 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 the, show the jankiness. Show the jankiness. Oh, yes, through this great jankiness, we have a working serial connection. We'll make a PCB and clean this up. Okay, so it says try 0002 space, 1, 8 period, 1, 8 period. A5 period. Line feed, I'm guessing that is a carriage return. And hit delete. And now it says Kim. Actually, I don't think that was right. LF, I hit the return key, but it's supposed to go backwards. So what's the LF key? Okay, I figured out the LF key. To actually do a line feed, I hit control J and that goes backwards. Okay. So return goes forwards, control J goes backwards in memory. Okay. So that worked. That all really worked.